In the last video, we got our credentials so that we could work with the Twitter API. We want to keep these credentials as secure as possible, so instead of adding them directly into our application code, we're going to store them as environmental variables. To do this, we are going to create a .env file in the root of our application. As we saw in the previous video, interacting with the Twitter API will require a set of four different keys. Let's create them one by one. We'll start with the consumer key. Environmental variables are usually written in all caps and separated by an underscore, and we'll follow this best practice for our app. Create the consumer key and set it to the consumer key string we copied earlier. Next, we'll do the consumer secret. Add a new line and copy the consumer secret we saved earlier. We'll do the access token key next, and finally access token secret will be last. Once all the keys have been successfully added, we'll just save the file. To load our environmental variables into the application, we'll make use of an excellent NPM package called .env. Install it by running npm install .env. To use this new library, let's open up our main.js file, and at the very top of the file, we'll require and instantiate the .env library. To do this, we'll simply write require and pass in .env and append an empty config method. We could additionally pass a config object into this method to set a different path or file name, but we won't need to for our app. The reason we run this code at the very root of our application is so that the environmental variables are loaded before any other code is called. If we were to run this code below the var app declaration, then our app would not have access to any of our environmental variables. Now that we have our environmental variables in place, let's go ahead and build our twitter.js helper utility and implement our final two controllers.